Hi, my name's Chad, and you're watching Square Body Stuff. This video is going to be a follow-up from my last video of going over uh, piston deck height. Uh, as I was editing the video and everything, I realized I just got tunnel vision, and all I was worried about is showing you how to do it with flat tops. Um, so I'm going to show you how to check your deck height with either domed, or the old dished pistons or this is the engine and everything i've done the video on it has true flat tops with the valve reliefs uh, if you're not familiar with this thing this is a 339 small block chevy 305 block three and three quarter inch stroke crank uh, it's been bored 60 over so i'm just going to start from scratch i'm going to show you how i check deck height on this block with the flat tops and then i'll show you how to do it with the dome pistons and the dish pistons what the difference will be and once you get it right there in the center just move your crankshaft move your piston up and down bring it up and we're right there at zero the reason why you want to do it right in the center is if you can on a flat top is you have a little bit of rock in your piston uh, I call it up and down uh, and the other way you don't have any rock but your your center will be your truest measurement you could also measure out here on the outside edge if you want to but you got to be in line with the wrist pin now if you're working on an engine with a dished piston you'll want to make sure that you get the anvil stay in line with the wrist pin and get the anvil on either outside edge which this edge as you can see won't work because it's got it's got that notch there you'll want to get it over here on this side uh, your rock will be this way but you can take your measurement off of the highest point right there and that'll give you your true deck height on a dished piston and by the way these are these are the original pistons out of this 305 these poor guys has seen some have seen some action so if you're trying to check the deck height on a piston with a dome on it uh, this happens to be a Keith Black uh, hyperrotectic big block Chevy piston uh, 250,000 dome so you don't want to take it off the top of your dome because that's not your true deck height your true deck height will be down here on this flat part now to measure that, you need to find a spot still in line with your wrist pin over towards the edge. Uh, and this one's got a nice spot here where I can take the measurement right there. And that's where you'll want to take your deck height for a dome piston. You don't want to take it off the dome and try to do any funky math because you could be off a little bit. Try to take it right off your, your deck. And in that case, this is where these extra holes come in handy on this bridge because you can move the dial indicator over to the edge and take your measurement where you need to take it. Uh, and these tools aren't that expensive. Uh, the bridge itself, I think, was around $20, $30. Dial indicators, probably about the same. You can, spend, you can spend way more if you want to for really high quality stuff. But uh, if you're just kind of a hobbyist and don't do it all the time, these cheaper tools will do the job. I'm gonna go over why we even need to worry about checking deck height. I'm not gonna get real deep into it, just some of the basics. Uh, for one, you wanna make sure that your piston is not sticking too far up out of the bore and gonna crash into your cylinder head. Another reason you wanna check it is to make sure that your deck surface is square. Another reason we wanna check deck height is we could use it to uh, calculate our compression ratio. Uh, the closer, closer to the top of the block you are, the more compression you're going to make. As far as how much or where you really want to be at on your deck height, that's up to you, uh, depending on on your particular build. If you, you know, if you want it down in a hole a little bit to adjust your compression ratio, uh, you know, there's you could do that. But I wanted a, a zero deck on this one, uh, so how much you have really depends on uh, what you're doing with the build. Obviously, you don't want it sticking up out of the hole too much if you got a thin head gasket, so you're going to crash into your cylinder heads. I believe that's all I got for you this time. I appreciate you guys watching. 
I uh, hope you learned a little bit of something. And until next time, y'all keep your square bodies rolling. We'll catch you later. Psst. Hey, before you leave, hit that subscribe button.